worked at we worked at the same uh, reception desk, and we started her on the wrong foot. Asked her where she was from. She said Glendale, California. I said, "Oh, that's supposed to be really nice." She said, "Yeah, it is." <laughs> Are we fighting now? <laughs> because girlfriend, I will throw down. And she stopped talking to me, even though I kept talking to her, like I'm a friendly person, I kept talking to her and loved talking to her. It was like shouting into the wind of an angry desert that shows no mercy into the benevolent armadillo. <laughs> Every morning I go in there, good morning, Vanette. <laughs> hey, I'm heading out for lunch, can I get you anything? <laughs> I'm TGIF. And every weekend. <laughs> I know she didn't like me personally because she would talk to anybody else about anything. <laughs> hey, Vanette, we got a package here for you. My cat got up this weekend and she got as far as the front walk and she looks up at me like, what? And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Uh, you do have another project coming up uh, with Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler, Please, sit down, away. shut up. It is a Fox animated series where there are lots of bigwigs on it. Have you heard of Jason Bateman I have. from Arrested Development? It's basically the cast of Arrested Development, but on a thing, animated show. <laughs> and uh, then Henry Winkler, and the then boss. who brought an orange pound cake to our first uh, rehearsal. And it was quite good, though a bit dry. And um, <laughs> and yeah, he was yeah he made it himself, or, or somebody in his family made it. He also writes children's books. And then I got to meet meet Will Forte and Will Arnett. Both of these people are super super funny. Um, I am not uh, famous, uh, and so I think sometimes people looked at me and said, "What is she doing here?" And I said, uh, ain't I a woman? But I'm working, I'm trying to become more and more famous so that I belong places. <laughs> I'd be honest with you, this show probably won't help you with that. What? But I, yeah, I appreciate you taking, yeah, I appreciate you taking the time anyway. <laughs> and, um, then the thing that seems to be disturbing my friends the most if I started taking the bus, uh, where are you right now? I'm on the bus. Oh my God. <laughs> what happened to your car? That's why I decided to take a bus. <clears throat> Do you need me to pick you up? <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm, I'm on the bus. <laughs> Maria, are you okay? Do you, does anybody have pets? Have doggies? <laughs> What's your dog's name? Jake. Jake. Well, what kind is it? Where'd you, where'd you get him? Uh, pet store. Pet store? Awesome. It's kind of a rescue, right? <laughs> it's a big thing in LA. People are like, yeah, it's a rescue. Was he out on open water? Or? <laughs> okay. I'm a, I'm a dog lover, Maria. Oh, um, me too. And uh, I understand that um, now I've known about Blossom. Blossom's you know, your co-star on, yeah, yeah. on the Maria Bamford show and I've uh, seen her on your website. Yeah, yeah. I understand Blossom has a new uh, sibling? She has a sibling. Uh, it is, they are uh, through adoption. Uh, his name is Bert. Bert is blind. Uh, I did not know that until I got him and he started bumping into stuff, which is funny. Uh, do you want to hear Bert's song? I would love to hear Bird's song. Yeah, let's. Okay, th thank you, audience. Uh, okay, there's a song for Blossom. Um, I'm I'm a songwriter. Yeah. Uh, Blossom, yeah, some dog. She's a super pack. She's magnificent pack. I love because she is a pack. She is an awesome dog and she's super great. She's magnificent pack. I love because she is a pack. <laughs> That's beautiful. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And this, this next one about Bird is in development, but 
Bert's a good guy and he loves to have fun. He loves to snuggle and he loves to run into the sun and eat dirt. He's Bert. He's fun. Bert's a good guy and he loves to have fun. T- and inverts the garbage for a hot dog bun. Never inert. He's alert. He's Bert. He's fun. Outstanding. Now I have this health insurance that I paid for myself. It's really inexpensive because they only have one person working the phone. And her name's Shirley. She's super nice. And I was feeling kind of down. And so I, I called in and um, she was really helpful. Okay. Okay. So you have like psychological problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and mean, I think I need a referral for a therapist. Okay. So it's not something you can talk about with your friends. <laughs> well, I talk about it, but they're like, why can't you come out tonight? And I say, because I'm filthy. They say, take a shower. I say, no, it's on the inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you crazy. blessed to be stressed. I feel there. I go out and see a comedy show. You want to get your laugh on? Yes, I have, Shirley. Yes, I have. Well, maybe you ain't seen a funny one. Oh, touche, my God. <laughs> you talk a lot about um, uh, depression and yes, OCD and yes, stuff like yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. I assume the irony is not lost on you about being a comedian. Struggling, who struggles from time to time, I guess, with depression? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's normal just to comedians, because I've heard some comedians say, I'm not, don't have any problems with that kind of stuff. Mental health issues. Like, for example, Jerry Seinfeld, he seems very, you know, like some people are very, you know, don't seem to, are treating this like a business. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> not as a way to fill a hole inside. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> uh I, I think he's I, got it all wrong, but I, I ask as a fellow, as a fellow, yes, yes, person struggling with, who yeah, struggles sh- with sure, that yeah, yeah, time, sure, so, yeah. What kind of meds are you on? Uh, Cymbalta. Yeah, me too. Really? Oh my gosh, awesome! We're bonding now. Wow, I'm just... just, I'm on ninety megs, and then I got ten megs of Pros, Prozac really? to you know take the edge off. Oh, awesome! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love the way, yeah, you know, we have that in common, you know. And yeah, we're all she, the same. She lives in San Fernando. I, I was born in San Fernando. Fernando, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, once, I once had a layover in Minnesota, too. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's like meeting my twin. Yeah, right. Oh, McDonald had a pterodactyl. Oh, McDonald had a Yeah. <laughs>